is up, fan guy back. Getting ready for uh, the online battle. This looks like um, a, a lot of a hybrid of a lot of my favorite game shows. So, um, you know, it's, it's, I'm, I'm going to come into this game much like I came into the last one, which is my main plan is just to be adaptable to whatever happens. Because I think if you try to enter uh, a situation like this with too much of a concrete based like plan, uh, things you, you're leaving yourself a lot of room for things to um, go awry. Obviously, I want people to like me, um, and I want to like them as well. So hopefully, I just make some good connections, and I'm good at the games. This is just like a completely different game, like. Uh, than online isolation because we didn't really play games. Well, we didn't play games other than mind games, but um, we was all kind of like worried about you because um, Wesley was saying that how you're a mastermind of the whole game. That you're when did he say this? He said this two nights ago that how you're a mastermind of the game and that how you're that you know what you're doing and this is like a chess game. I'm just gonna be myself, and hopefully they are receptive to that. And I, I what I don't want to happen is for them to judge me on who I was, how I acted in online isolation, because there are moments that I would have done different differently if I could. Um, so I hope they just like kind of give me a blank slate and clean slate, blank, what, something like that. Um, so they get to know me. I am extremely tactical and, strat uh, and strategic. Uh, if you watch my, my season, you saw an aspect of that. So for me, so far, uh, I want to align myself with the two most active people, which have been uh, Rochelle and Aspen. So do you guys want to uh, put together a separate chat for just us three then, somewhere? Uh, yeah, we could do that. Got All right, cool. Like, I'm, I'm liking this. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm game, man, for sure. I'm 100% game. This vote's tough. I just think I have to absolutely go with my gut. So my gut, uh, I don't like this. But um, to my vote to infinity, I am so sorry. One of my biggest hurdles in my original season that prevented me from winning was the fact that I didn't have a number one. Uh, it sounds kind of trivial, but it's very true. I didn't have a number one. I had two pairs that I was the third but I didn't have a person to be in a pair with me like a true you know number one so in this game I optimally would like to find that I'm not gonna wood that I see days this season um I think days and I had a mutual respect for one another and for one another's gameplay and I think we understand where each other were coming from in a lot of ways so I'm knocking on wood that I see dazed because um, if there's one person that I know right off top from my season that I feel like I could possibly get in a number one, number two situation with and that I know I could work with closely and we think alike and we're, we're gonna see things similarly a lot of the time is gonna be dazed. I feel like this game I can be more of myself. See how it goes, let's get this started. What's up? <laughs> I was like, this is this is this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> like bam, no intro, nothing. Just like <laughs> like talk. Hey, what's up? Hello, how are you? Here we go again, right? I can't believe I'm doing this again after all the stress that season two of online survival gave me, but I'm hoping that this one will be less stressful. One of my downfalls in the last game was um, being worried that my Alliance members would not like moves that I made that were going to benefit my game, and that's ultimately what got me voted out. I know, okay, so I have a switch of vote and I can leave tribal before the vote and save myself, but I also can't vote. Don't do that. But I'm Just gonna go home. Vote. But if Q, no. if Q, if Q has an idol and she uses that tonight, I'm gone. I am the vote tonight. Here's my plan. I'm gonna leave, but I'm giving you the switch of vote, and you need to switch Didi's vote to Q. 
I think that I'm going to have to try to play a little bit low key more in the beginning. I didn't try to come in as a threat last time, but I think my personality um, kind of puts me there. I am one to start conversations. I'm one to get ideas thrown out there. And I think this time I'm going to let somebody else kind of take the lead on that and just follow suit for a little bit. I mean, here's, here's to another crazy adventure. Yes. Okay. Oh, they're going to be popping us in one at a time. Is that anyone? Oh, wait, I know this one. <laughs> What's up? It's your girl. Oh, man, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. The winning vote goes to... And the winner is... Me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to everybody that voted for me, that supported me through this journey. Thank you to everybody that voted me out. Because if y'all would have never voted me out, I would have never figured out my true potential. And that was to right the middle, right the middle. <laughs> so, yeah, coming in as a winner definitely puts a big target on my back. Hands down. I mean, if, and this is a big if, if people watch me in the first game which uh fingers crossed they didn't see me <laughs> they don't know that i won they don't know nothing about me um that would work out better for me obviously but if they if they know what i'm about and know that i came in and i was like pa, 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 you know like out for some heads then i think i'm gonna have a target on my back for sure because you know people gonna try to get me out you know it's like basically being Sandra on Survivor, I'm gonna have to claw and dig and fight my way back because everybody know that the queen is on top and they gonna try to dethrone the queen. You know, I already got a, a, a win under my belt. I got a championship belt on right now, you know, but I got my shirt on over it. So that's, that's the real thing. I ain't gonna come in and like, you know, be all vocal about, oh, I won and you know, I ain't gonna do all that. I'm gonna just sit back. I'm gonna hope nobody recognizes me. And I'm gonna hope nobody don't snitch on me from the first game. So, fingers crossed that I won't be a threat because I already got that W. I have the ability to connect with people in a certain type of way. And that's how I got this far, that far in the first game is I just made a connection with Rochelle and Fangar right off the bat. And so I think that took me to the end. What's up, Fangar? What's up, Aspen? How you been? I'm good, man. How you doing? Oh, I'm all right. Like, yeah. I know me. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I know it. I think the, world, the world's been kind of like jacked for the past, I don't know. I do think I got robbed on my season. I absolutely do. I'm not afraid to say that. Uh, I definitely played the best game. It wasn't even, it wasn't even close, to be honest. Uh, I had aligned with both sides. I had played the middle perfectly and uh, got to the end. When it comes to fan guy, I don't know. I don't know if he's still a little salty from me taking that W or I don't know if he's put it behind him and he just want to work together. I'm not really sure how that's going to go. So we'll see about that. I love Aspen, so I don't have a problem with her winning. It wasn't like uh, I'm not super salty about it or anything. But on str strictly gameplay, yeah, I, I won my season. I got, I got outed by, I got, you know, screwed by a bitter jury and an angry jury. Hello, ladies. How are y'all? How are y'all? Yeah. Pretty good. My name's Aspen. Nice to meet you. Nice to I'm, meet you. I'm Kelsey. Okay, Kelsey. Wow, I don't uh, know any of you. Nobody from my games here. What what game did you do, Meg? Um, Online Survival 2. Okay, nice. Was Were we the first one? Is that Mike know. here? Is that it Mike? It is Mike, it's definitely Mike. I heard Mike's voice. I don't see his um, thing yet. Definitely here, guys. There so it is. Probably there not happy to hear it, but uh -uh. I'm here. So I'm just hoping to... <laughs> I don't know, get along with people this uh, time. You don't show up to one tribal. You have an obligation. Every 
every single person. Just everything goes to fucking shit. You haven't been up front the entire game. You don't tell us why you're going to be gone. You can tell us 50-50 your- Do I need your... to explain yes! my entire life to Yes! You? You're playing a game. You want us to be allies with you. You tell us over and over again. It's going to be 50-50 whether you're going to be at a challenge or a tribal. Just be up front. You couldn't even tell us about an idol that you had. Why okay. would we trust you? <laughs> because I obviously needed it. My god. You're, you're the, the, your mind is just... It doesn't make any sense to me. These people are just... I can't stand them. I can't stand them. They're terrible. Uh, in this one, I'm definitely going to work a little harder on meeting people on their turn. Hoping people like me more, I can be nicer. <laughs> not, not cause as much shit right off the bat. I, I think with the challenges being more important this time, that I stand a shot at at least being a competitor. You know, I'm coming out a little nicer, coming out a little more a little less of a grudge or whatever, hopefully. Hopefully people don't start bringing things up <laughs> causing me trouble. <laughs> I don't know, I'm here to have fun more than win this time. I think that's a big difference about my attitude towards it. It's like, I'm competitive in Survivor, but I've never even played this version of the game. So I'm just like, we'll see what happens and I will uh, do my best to enjoy it. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Monet. If you don't know, you need to get to know who the fuck this is. Monet motherfucking L, and I am back in this hoe. Oh, cool. if you know me from last game, I was kind of reserved. I was busy with work, so I wasn't contributing to the flow of the convo. Oh, okay. At work now. I'm here, but I'm a little distracted. So bear with me. But this time around, that needs to change because that's how I fucked myself up, honey. I was not very um, involved because I, I'm the kind of person who likes to read the room before I dive in because I'm a fucking Gemini, okay? I have different personality traits that are amplified around different people. So that explains that. And this time, I'm gonna be an extrovert, okay? So work, I have more freedom. It's gonna be less of a distraction and shit. I'm gonna just be unapologetically me because what I noticed is the power players, that's exactly what they were, unapologetically themselves. So I wanna be in the top this game. So I need to win. I need to be at the top because in the last game, I was more so brains than I was brawn. This time I'm gonna be more brawn. I'm not, I'm not that strong. People will see that, oh, Monet don't got shit to hide. Okay, I can respect that, that shit right there. Okay, boom, she's not gonna be eliminated. These other silent Nancys, silent Sallys, they're gonna go down. I don't want them. I want Monet. She got nothing to hide. That's the whole fucking point. They don't know me. Now they're gonna get to know me, you know, firsthand. Man, hold up, how do I see everybody? Hey guys, I'm Dazed and I'm back. You might remember me from season one of Online Survival. Just kidding, nobody watched that. Um, you might also see me in a couple podcasts. Um, I didn't like Kelsey at the beginning. I love her now. Uh, she is who I want to win the game. And I'll, I'll, that's all I have for her. Thank you. Uh, she's not who I want to win the game. Um, I think Kelsey is playing, she's playing a mixed game for me. She has a good social game thus far. She's very strategic, but then she's also sneaky. And I don't, I have a whole thing with sneaky people and I don't like it. <laughs> I have been trying to be active on YouTube and Instagram, knowing that I can kind of interact with them before this game started. Um, so they've seen me comment on YouTube. They've Some of them have seen me um, on the podcast for online isolation. First and foremost in this game, I have to find a solid number two, my ride or die. Um, this is somebody that I can compare notes with so that we can decipher who's telling us lies and 
decide what is the best course of action to get to the end of the game. This is also somebody who covers your weaknesses. So for me, my weakness is my ability to play in competitions. I am extremely happy to see Days in this game. I feel like Dazed is going to be my number one base, and yes, it is based on a prior relationship, but it's based on a prior relationship that we weren't even on the same side really in our last game. It comes from just a lot of mutual respect and fondness for each other in general. Like, we're just, we just get along and we like a lot of the same things, which is like reality TV and stuff. I'm excited to see Fan Guy. Uh, I was hoping that he would be in this game. He's definitely somebody I want to work with and can work with, uh, with no arguments, no no difficulties. I don't know. I don't know about days. I don't know if he gonna want to work with me. I don't. He was kind of a little salty from the reunion, as as far as I can remember. Just about like being salty that I didn't take him with me to the finale, so he might not even want to work with me. My vote tonight is for Dazed. I'm sorry, but I just feel like my chances are better against Fan Guy, and I might be wrong. This could come back and bite me in the butt, and I won't know until it's too late, so fingers crossed that I'm a champion, and this is the right decision. I'm sorry, Dazed. I just feel like more people will vote for you, you know? Aspen, I'm not excited to see her necessarily. Um, I think that we might be able to work work together. With me, I'm struggling. Oh, there you go, Mike. Now you straight. Now you straight. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, not quite, uh, not quite, Aspen. But... <laughs> right, right. Well, really, <laughs> you know. I might even consider working with Mike. I don't know. It depends on who's playing, you know? Like if they was on my side and respected the game I played, like Mike, I appreciate him respecting the game I play. And so I would reach out to him and try to work with him. And I know that he gonna kind of play his own game and he might be a target in his own sort of way. So, you know, I need me some shields. I need me some blockers. If I learn anything from watching past players on like Survivor and stuff come back, you got to have that team of, of like shields in front of you that, that can get picked off before you, you know. I know it sounds vicious, but hey, it's a cutthroat game out here, so I'm in it to win it, man. You already know. I need number two. I need win number two. Let's go. Hey, Mike. Hello, Dazed. <laughs> this is such a blast from the past. Right? Right? It's crazy. Do you all play it together? <laughs> Um, uh, me, Fan Guy, Dazed, and Mike all played together. Well, I wouldn't exactly say I played together with you guys. We were in the same game, but you know. <laughs> uh, what, is, what does that mean? <laughs> I may have, uh, been a bit of a lone wolf. <laughs> Caused it to myself, uh, right off the, you know. Oh, there it goes. If it happens. Yo! Yo, what up? What up, everybody? We back, yo. We back. It's your boy, dot, 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 dot. We back, yo. A second chance after uh, verbally abusing certain players in the last game. My, uh, my next question is for Elizabeth. Um, all right, so Elizabeth, do you feel like you're an underdog here in the finals because uh, throughout the strong majority of the challenges, you did not provide assistance, skills, or much value. What is your strategy coming into this new game? Shit. Honestly, about the same as the last one. Just be myself, have fun, um, you know, look to make alliances, uh, partner with people that I like and that I think are competitive and want to win, but also that I mesh well with. Um, and have good vibes, uh, not create too many enemies, and try to stay away from the drama. You know, last season I was able to stay away from most of the drama, but things got a little heated and boiled, so maybe I can I can keep my cool, uh, be have a better temperament. So I'm super excited to see Dot in the game because he was my number one ally in my season of Online Survival 2. 
Um, so I'm pretty confident that that's going to carry over into this season. I feel like we solidified that alliance like day two and can be super strong. How many people are in it? Hey, treasure. Hi, Hi treasure. <laughs> we'll see. I just know it's going to be interesting because so far I only recognize two people, Kelsey and treasure, but everybody else, I'm excited to get to know y'all. Hi everyone, my name's Treasure. If you don't know me, I was in the first online isolation series and I'm back again. Whatever I did worked to an extent, so I'm going to do that same thing. Is this the detective work that we're supposed to do? Find out about the other people? Yeah, tell us about Wesley. I don't know Wesley. I feel like it is Lindsay. Just you know like there is a concept in the game and I've only just been like talking to people, but I haven't actually put anything together yet. So bitch, we just figured it out. <laughs> All right, get talking. In the man threat group today, I did sort of have an epiphany about the actual concept of the game because I feel like throughout this whole game, we have been trying to figure out what are we exactly trying to do. And now that I have met the different players and seen the different personalities, I get it now. I get it. I hope to work with people who are witty, um, make good decisions, and I personally like work working with intimidating players because that spices things up and shows that like they really kind of got a grip on what they want to do. Um, and then people that are open-minded, I don't like stubborn people, but I really do like competitive pe people, so I do think that keeping my enemies close is going to be smart. Um, what's your favorite color and what's your favorite food? Are we really doing the favorite color thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Ice cream. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why don't you ask Daze to sign? He'll start going off about astrology. That'll get things going. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hey, I'm not going there. joking with you. Man, I'm ironically in the closet because I didn't want to be loud <laughs> anyway. So don't yeah. question it. Yeah, Just yeah, accept it. Like that. So I wasn't going to say nothing, but I, I peeped it, yeah. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I thought yeah. maybe you had some mean, mean <laughs> uncle like better. Harry Potter or something. <laughs> that is some Harry Potter <laughs> shit for real. Like, what? <laughs> First of all, I'm going to be unapologetically me because some people I believe are going to be hella introverted. Me, I need to be hella extroverted. Let's see how it goes. I want to nip myself in the butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm excited that. to meet new people. Like the oh box. shit, you got the flash. Meg, what up? What the what flash? Up, what up, what up? Meg! Hi. Unfortunately, the Flash was too busy to play the whole game, so he was only able to attend night one. I don't know anybody else but Dot. <laughs> so Meg, you and Dot play together, Meg? Yeah, we were we on the same season, yeah. Oh, oh and y'all show came out of it, right? Perfect. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> what up? I'm not gonna lie on my name. Delion does not oh. spread <laughs> lies. <laughs> everything I said, no, no. Everything, everything that I said today was true. Every single thing. Did you or did you not say you was gonna pull Treasure's hair? Did you or did you not say you was gonna fight Lil? Did you or did you not say you was gonna fight me? You can't come here, Leo, and say you're not a type of person to fight somebody when yesterday you was doing something else. Everyone else doesn't know that we've played this game before. So I think the best thing is to not tell them that we already know each other. Oh, you're very talkative. Like, you were just like yeah. a really nice person. So we're like, okay, like, why would we get rid of him? Like, he's one of the That's funny because I heard different, but okay. Deleon, I know he's stirring the pot a little bit. He knows what he's doing. I know what he's doing. I'm just going to sit back and watch it do what it do. Hey. Okay, so. I felt like for the most part, everybody was cool. But I mean, at the same time, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to win a game, so. Uh, I think that people from our game definitely did not want to get back into this so soon. They yeah, I think so too. I <laughs> agreed. Great. We're like we the only nice two. Break. We have Q. Q. It was Q. so draining. Where's Q at? Show yourself. <laughs> I'm here, hello. What up? <laughs> All right, so I'm starting another season. Um, yeah, you guys can hold the applause. I know you all miss me. 
happy to be back and uh, ready to get this get this game started. Let me address this shit. I didn't shit. attack you, but I so. just I don't get how you can how you can say that you have loyalty, but your boy was on the chopping block and you didn't you didn't try to send him to exile. Meg needs to go. I'm coming for you, Meg. I swear to God, they are not going to hand her this fucking game. I've had it. So they are not gonna fucking do it. They will. I will get voted out before I see the game handed to her. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Yeah. I'm feeling reckless and I'm at yeah. the merge, so I'm pretty happy I get to be a jury. If sure. Jake or Meg make it to the final two, they're getting my vote. I think being honest is what worked for me. I think people really knew that they could take my word at face value, and I think that that was a huge component in me getting as far as I did. And I intend to to play that same that same role. I would like to have another, you know, group of people that I can deeply trust. Maybe not so much of an alliance, because you know, as we saw last season, I don't do well with alliances. I don't like big alliances. But I do like to have a group of people, kind of like a ragtag team, if you are you know, really fun and, 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 and friendly and we're just cool with each other and we just we rock with each other. Q and I didn't get along in my season, but we might be able to work together to get us further in this game. Q, her energy can be on the rambunctious side. So um, to be honest, I don't know yet. I don't know. it. To be real, like I don't have a big problem with her, but we were not on the same side at all uh, last game. Welcome what back, you yo. Oh my okay. god, there are a Welcome lot of us. Um, and I think there's still more. Yeah, there are. Okay, thank you. Okay, oh, Treasure Monet, oh. Kelsey, hey. Hey, hey. hey. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? Uh, Zillion. Well, you see what had happened was, um, <laughs> it was good. I've been a badass like all day. There were some people who I had pegged very differently. Um, Bonet had a lot to say tonight. So I'm just curious as to where everybody is from. Like, y'all, 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 where y'all from? Where y'all at? Texas boy right here. Texas? Texas? Austin, Texas, baby. I used Damn, to live in Round Rock. Oh, word, nice. We're not that far. Or, I used to live in Round Rock. Well, now I'm in Katy, but I used to live in Round Rock. Uh, I immediately like this cat. Um, he just struck a good chord with me. Maybe it's because, you know, we maybe both have similar extracurricular activities of the organic herbal variety. Um, but he just, you know, struck a chord with me. I like that dude. Uh, he seemed like a cool cat. Yeah. Oh, you're Texas boy too. Nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo. Love me some Texas. Anybody in here besides Texas? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Raleigh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, hey, North Carolina. Okay. I'm, I'm from South Carolina. Oh, I don't know. But dang. I just, I, I literally just moved from both of those states. So I was in Asheville, North Carolina. And then I moved to Spartanburg, South Carolina. And I just oh. moved to Oregon. Uh, wow. You know, so, yeah. Wow. Coast to coast. Nice. Coast to Oregon. coast, baby. Let's go. I really like Aspen. I think she's really cool. Um, but I know that she's also a threat being the winner of Online Survival 1. What about you, Kelsey? Where are you from? Uh, Michigan. Oh, okay. okay. Hey, me hey. too! Me Wait, too. Wait, seriously? Yeah, I'm from like, I just, I just say Detroit. It's, I don't live in Detroit. I live like 40 minutes away, roughly. Watch out are for that alliance. Ready? Huh? <laughs> Wait, Already. What? Ready? Uh, I know I don't live in the city, but I go to college there, actually. So, oh, driving okay. distance, commute, commute distance. Nice, nice. I'm from- What about you? Uh, East Lansing. Oh, nice. Does that mean you're a Michigan State fan? I am, I go to state. Oh. <laughs> wow, I'm best friend. Alliance destroyed. No, yeah. no, no, I'm gonna have to show up in my in my U of M uh, shirt at the next- <laughs> at the next I'll thing. bring out the Spartan gear. Uh oh, already, oh, LA. already. Midbury! Got LA in the house. Go. <laughs> Lindner! Oh, shit. Uh, oh my god, Leo, what's up? LA, LA, bro, LA. Leo! 
No, I just want to let you know something. So I don't understand. I was actually now actually listening to what you were saying and I don't understand how you can come up to me and just tell me that I'm lying, but you know, you don't fucking know me at all. You do not know, know you. No, I don't no need let me to tell you what really. I really think because you are telling all these people what you think. So what do I think about my first impressions on the other characters? Well, it was really cool to see the different personalities and what I have to work with in the future in this game. Yo, what's up with your hair, dude? You just yeah, woke up. Do. You have some facial hair now? You look so different. Oh, <laughs> well, this is so Loki long. Leo's brother. Ooh, wait, Leo, let me see. I, I don't see no... I want to see what we're talking about. Yo, is the whole cast <laughs> coming up in here? Yeah, all right. There are a lot of us. It's funny because it's Flash, Leonard, DeLeon, Monet, Kelsey um, got along with them well, more so after the game because that's when we all clicked more. I love everyone from my season of online isolation that's in the game. Uh, Treasure DeLeon and Leo and Flash, I love them all. Um, I really have no problem with any one of them. People from same shows could kind of gravitate towards each other or I don't know, like have each other's back, but I'm not sure. So I don't want to put any money on that yet. I mean, at this point, like they're my friends and all, but like I'm here to win a game. So, I mean, if I got to step on some toes, I'm gonna step on some toes. <laughs> and that's just that on that. And I mean, that's on whatever you need it to be on. Cause I mean, I'm here to win. Yeah. I feel like I know some of y'all really well already just from four episodes. Oh, we know. Yeah, they know. Yeah, we know. You know us as well. We know. <laughs> I'm just keeping an eye out for a couple people. Like, a lot of people just seem very smart. So, like, Q and Days, I'm keeping my eye on them because they did that podcast and they watched me in our previous TV show. So, on Q and Days. Days and Q do stand out to me because they just so happen to do a podcast on my first season. So seeing them make commentary on me and the other people in my show and then talking to them face to face is very interesting. I actually think it's pretty cool because it's like, I don't know, they're seeing two different, not two different sides of me because I think I act the same in both games so far, but just kind of seeing them, see me develop in that game and then seeing me raw in this game is really interesting. Dazed, I was surprised to meet. He's, I don't know yet. Like he seems a little different than his personality um, on behind the keyboard. I don't, I don't know, in the comments. Uh, and Q was a little quieter, but I'm sure it's just cause like the first she was just observing everyone, which I, uh, totally understandable. You've been yeah, watching your It's a mess. Just by it's like y'all, y'all's chemistry, like, like I can tell something, rated. something crazy happened. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes you have to go through the storm with people in order to accept the calm. Tyler, 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 I believe that the truth should be stated whether you want the truth to be stated or not. Like, even though y'all were all good with the lie, I'm gonna just come with the truth and then it is what it is. And I said what I said and you gonna feel how you feel. And that's just that on whatever you need it to be on, sweetie. This group is filled with a lot more characters than uh, the game that I played in initially. A lot of big personalities. Uh, I, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna clash uh, from this from this group because there's so many, there's so many personalities, it's so big. De Leon is a very big character, very outgoing. Uh, from the jump was like, look, I'm not here to make friends. I'm gonna be myself. I don't care who likes me. I'm not here to be liked. And I'm like, that's cool. Like, I mean, we're all here to win. I don't think we're all, any of us are here to make friends, you know? Um, he's definitely one of those rambunctious types. Shoot. Because what I've learned from our game is that people respect everybody who doesn't hold anything back. People who keep everything off of their chest. So 
Yeah. Yeah, you could respect someone who won't hide shit more than you can respect someone who does hide shit. Period. Sounds like I was in the wrong season. You were, my I she was that guy. I kind of was. I think I could work with anyone for my first season, even Mike, uh, if they aren't going to be emotional. Matter of fact, I think Mike would make a good partner for me if he's not emotional and isn't holding bitter feelings. Mike just seemed like the kind of guy who would come into the season if he's on it and act like he wanted to work with me just so he could get the last laugh and backstab me. So I don't know if I could ever trust Mike, um, but if for whatever reason he was very convincing and, and made me feel that I could, I could even work with him. I think I'm willing to work with everyone from my original season, except Fan Guy. I won't work with Fan Guy. Um, I just won't. Everyone else is fine. I'll work with Aspen. I'll work with... I will work with Dazed. I will work with Dazed. If he wants to work with me, if he has any interest in that, I will work with him. And I'll, I'll be legit. I'll be legit this time. I will. I will. You so quiet, Leonard. Leonard, you're quiet. Uh-oh. Say something. Oh my God. We got Leonard and we got Treasure Quiet. Y'all came for it. Damn, are y'all those people? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me write his name down. Hold on. Treasure, where you from, Treasure? Leonard Hamilton, okay. Um, Leonard was really, really, really quiet. First season, he was not quiet. We were just gonna cue it a buck. He was not quiet at all. And I was quiet because when I started watching season one of Albert Talks, um, I just wanted to stay a little back. Then other people talk as well. And also, um, my castmates um, in the other groups also told me that maybe listening is better and also like seeing people like that and also working on my strategies. Well, there's not a lot of strategies in this game. But also to get to know people more if you listen and not just talk the whole time. Leonard, Leo, LA, he was really quiet, uh, which is why I kept making jokes about uh, <laughs> saying, hey, speak up, because that's what he was doing to Kelsey and Treasure um, during online isolation. But he, he seems out of place. I, some, maybe something's up with him. Maybe. There was just a lot of backlash for, uh, against him on his original season. Um, Diced, I'm a little afraid of, uh, I don't know what he's planning, if I can trust him. <laughs> Treasure, where are you from? Tell me I'm, about you. I'm from Florida, very <laughs> school in Miami. Okay. Me and Flash have a very interesting relationship, so... Mm. Mm. Defined. Uh, what, 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 what's interesting? Uh? I feel like every time somebody has been in a group with him, and even me, my grades go lower. So my message to Flash, you can't always be the superhero, we're on to you, the low votes are adding up. It was interesting. What? On previous things. Because that's what I tell people when like, I don't want to hurt their feelings. <laughs> <laughs> they be like, oh my God, you like this outfit. And I'll be like, ooh, that is really interesting. <laughs> 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 Flash was trying to call me out for being quiet, which I started that way in my last game, so I'm surprised he made a comment about it this time. But um, especially because I specifically said, I don't like when people call me out for being quiet, but whatever. There were some people who were exactly like I thought they'd be. Treasure was quiet old treasure. She was exactly like how she was in the first night of online isolation. Kelsey was also very similar. I do think I like Kelsey more in this game than I maybe did in online isolation. No shade, Kelsey. Wait, can I actually ask, what are you guys' zodiac signs? <laughs> I'm an Aries. I'm Virgo. I'm a cast, I'm, I'm Aries Taurus. I see boys all day. Cancer. Scorpio. Who's a cancer? Aries. Wait, who's I a am, am I, am I about to get single out again? Because that's what happened know. in my first that's season. What we hear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm also a cancer, so. <laughs> Okay, I, I'll take that, it's not so bad. Mike is a cancer, I'm a cancer, so maybe that'll work out. But at the same time, um, people who are like me, I tend to clash with a lot. 
because I like to argue if that wasn't noticeable, so. <laughs> let, let me boost y'all up a little bit. Okay, Kansas. Right, hype me up, please. Hold up. Please First don't, of all, Kansas are great conversationalists. They Period. are smart as fuck. They are <laughs> down to earth, okay? So they are always on your side. I'm talking mm. about you. You better be recording this. They will always be it there is. for you, no matter what, through thick or thin. Always have a cancer on your side. Period. No. Take no. notes. <laughs> And that's how it needed to be on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whatever. So, Come on, Monet. Just tell me where oh. I was wrong. Nowhere. Where was the lie? Where was the lie? <laughs> <laughs> no lies were told. Now, here's where, in my opinion, Q was messing up, is that she was just kind of making it obvious that she was observing everything and taking it in. Q who I've known for several years, who is, uh, she's a big personality when she wants to be, but she kind of sat back and just observed and didn't say too much. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if some of the stuff that she said in the podcast that we're running for online isolation, uh, might, she might think that some of those words are gonna come back to bite her. Yeah, it was almost like you could just see the gears turning. Like, she, you know, she seems like she's really smart, and you could, but it shows. Like, you could almost just see the gears turning. And she was just, you know, like Russell Crowe in a beautiful mind, where the numbers are just like, you know, X equals X B squared number. You know, symbols you've never seen. You know, that looks like what she has going on in her head. You know, it's it's a very just like I'm taking this all and processing it, and it's all master processor. And, uh, you know, so um, she was quiet, but you can tell she's really like taking it all in. Um, but I would approach her, not necessarily to work with her, but to keep her close. So like everybody's scoping <laughs> everybody out in here. It's like, so, yeah, that's so awesome. so so I mean, Everybody's in game mode, it seems. And it was right off the bat. There were several, several long periods of silence during this chat. Um, okay, not super long, but there were times where nobody was talking, just waiting for somebody else to speak up. It's like nobody wanted to make a big target out of themselves early on by saying the wrong thing. So I have a feeling this is gonna be uh, <laughs> a bit of a crazy game. Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Okay, wait. Where are you? Hi, Nick. Oh, God. Bum, bum, bum. You do have an assignment today for your first night, even though you've only known some of these people for 40 minutes. You're going to vote for the first leader of this round. You all have a way to message me. You can vote for anyone except yourself. <laughs> you want to volunteer? I'm going to get my vote. Anyone? Anyone want to just like put themselves out there and be like, hey, I want to do it because I I volunteer. I'll be the leader. I'm young. Monet just kind of quietly was just like, hey, I'd like to be the leader. She said it one time. She put her name in the hat forward. Yo, this is going to be fun. I can see this coming. Right is it? Is it? <laughs> Ooh, I hope y'all ready for all the tea that's going to be spilt in here. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. There's a lot of personalities in here right going to be no there secrets is. in this game. There is. Wow. I have an announcement. We have our first leader and everybody must leave except this leader. It was a very close vote. There was a lot of two votes for people, but one person has three votes. Monet, you are the first leader of this round. Hey! Everybody else must leave Congrats, Monet. Monet. I need you to stay, however. I feel like my strategy is working out pretty well so far because I pretty much flipped the fucking script. How things went last season, I was on the bottom pretty early on, but now I'm at the top really early on. That's a good thing because I'm sticking to my word, but it's also a bad thing because now all eyes are on me. Hmm, <sighs> no pressure. <laughs> y'all see y'all later, guys. Uh, uh, yeah. Take it easy. Oh, so I have to bounce all right, bye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a few Monet, so don't forget that. 
Actually, I did yes, too, Monet. Don't forget that. Fan guy. Fan guy. I got both of y'all. So you are going to divide them into two different groups. They're going to be in two different challenges. The winner of each challenge becomes one of the failures with you for this round. Now the catch is one of one of them uh, challenges is harder than the other. The other one's a little bit easier than the other. For the first group, the easiest one, the leader is Delio. Uh, Aspen, because she told me that she voted for me, she was very upfront with that, so I was like, I got you. Now, I am a woman of my word, so if I say I got you, I fucking got you. I said the same thing to Van Guy that I got him because he told me that he voted for me. Kelsey, just because that's my girl right now. Leo, I want him, I just, I want to help. So I put him in the easiest group to help out, just to kind of lighten his spirits a little bit. And I put treasure in here as well. Definitely with my girl Rochelle not being here, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna take a toll on me, you know, because she was my, she was my rider. Who do I think is the most coolest person? Mm, Aspen. I just like her laid back energy. I love it. I, I love it. I'm not gonna lie. So you guys, I do have to ask you, um, are you two working together solely? Is it gonna be like, is she a ride or die? And I'm like, no, I wouldn't say that, but hell yeah, that's my ride or die. You know, we, we had each other's back. Obviously me, her, and fan guy. We were the traumatic trio, you know. we. We wrecked them and we held our alliance strong and we, we pretty much stayed close and so yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sad, you know, hold up, gotta, gotta have a moment of silence for my girl Rochelle, man. If you watching this, I miss you, sis. <laughs> Everybody's like saying you got drama or something and I'm like, what? What's happening? Oh, okay. I don't have, well, okay. Do I just, do I ruin it? Okay, yeah, so basically I was in a pact in the beginning where we all said we were gonna give each other high marks. I did not do that. No one in your group did. It, one person did, yeah. Okay, right. yeah. The, the right. majority of your group did not. Yes. Was, Damn, they play hard. Um, like, that, so is, that is when Daze hated me. He was in what? the comments what? typing what? about me. Oh <laughs> he was like, he called us the snake pit. He called us all snakes. He was, it was, I know, I I like emailed Nick and I was like, is this Dave's person? Like, am I going to have to go after him in the comments? But then he, then he switched up and he was like, oh, now I like Kelsey. And I'm like, oh, okay. I feel good about Dave and Fan Guy and Mike being back in the game. I'm not sure how Dave's has been affecting other people on other season. <laughs> that was only my drama. I mean, that was it. And then I like stuck to my word because I just, that was a really low moment in the game. Yeah. Understandable. Yeah. Understandable. Yeah. Yeah. I'll straight up tell you, that's why I voted you to be leader because I saw the first episode. I was like, I like her. <laughs> like, so I, I was like, I, I wanted you. Um, but then in our smaller group, he said that he voted for her. I'm just confused about who he was talking about, but I'm just gonna say he voted for me. That's what I'm accepting as true. I think something in our conversation tonight maybe rubbed her the wrong way or she didn't like about me because her tone towards it kind of changed halfway through our group chat. I, I, I was like, I, I, I'll, I'll trust your judgment. Take mercy on me. But right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, he was like, I just I just liked your vibe and I, I knew that you had a girlfriend and I was like, hey, girlfriend gang, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say I'm going to have no alliance with anybody yet. For sure, I'm going to try to reach out to my boy fan guy. You know, we, we rocked it real hard on our season, so we going to definitely see if we can link up and make something happen. Maybe get back to the final two again, have a little repeat. Who knows? I mean, I just, like, people that I vibe with, I vibe with. And I don't really know what kind of player they are. Um, I'm hoping, though, that in the next few days I can just 
meet everyone, at least establish some connection with everyone, even if it's not as strong as others. So what 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 are y'all thinking? You know, like how who did y'all get along with? Who didn't y'all get along with? Who are y'all still like? Eh, uh, I don't know about them. Do y'all have people that you are like? No, I ain't working with them or. Like, we still cool. One person who really stands out is Q because she was very to herself. She was just reading the room, like, the whole time. Everyone else, except Leo, of course, because with Leo, I feel like he was just down. Um, yeah, Q was just, like, super quiet. I think out of everybody, she probably said the least, probably two words. I, I, all I know is, like, I think that she's from South Carolina. I think that's the only thing that I remember. <laughs> but, yeah, so that was kind of, like, Oh, red flag. Maybe I should watch out for her. They're probably waiting for me to slip up so that they could dethrone me. But I'm letting you know right now. That shit ain't gonna happen. Because why? Monet is a fucking queen. I'm gonna stay royalty in this bitch. Period. Yes, I'm gonna wear my crown. For all I know, someone may dethrone me. I'm trying to play humble, but, you know, I'm feeling a little power hungry now. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree with that. For Q, also just not only because she was more reserved and kind of just observing all of us, um, she did say something about me in a podcast from another game. So I don't want to like assume anything based on that. Yeah, she does not like sneaky people and she thought of me as sneaky in the other <laughs> game. That was overwhelming. It was very yeah, overwhelming. Was overwhelming. Oh, my lord. <laughs> And um, you got called out for like not being aggressively vocal all the time. It's like, why are you so quiet? And it's like, because you guys are all fucking talking. But. Exactly. There's too many people. Everybody's just talking over each other. It definitely showed how many people have such a strong personality so early. This mm -hmm. is gonna be a this is gonna be a slugfest. I'm not really sure how I feel about Dalion and Monet. Um, they're very in-your-face type personalities, um, and I don't typically like that kind of personality um, or get along with them very well, but I'm interested in speaking to them more on an individual level rather than a large group chat. Treasure and Flash, I mean, you guys at least like know maybe who would be a good leader out of that group, so... I also think that at the same time, not knowing everybody is an advantage because I will say some people are acting different than how I've met them. So you Ooh, guys can very spicy. Off, <laughs> you guys can go based off of how they are in this game because people don't have to act how they would. But your season's well, airing, which we have I the ability to watch. Yeah. And as a viewer, Treasure, I agree with that assessment. Yeah. As a viewer, I'm like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so <Stretch. laughs> that's what I will say. And I think not knowing people is probably better because now I'm thrown off completely. <laughs> so, yeah. Monet, I think it's more so because I didn't get the opportunity to speak to her that much. She was definitely more outgoing and speaking more in this season than my last season. And I openly said that. I don't mean that in a way to paint a target or anything. It's just like something that I observed. And I don't think that's something that I should be like, oh, like Monet, like I'm not saying that she's acting different. I just didn't see the side of her. So it's exciting to see how this is gonna go in this game and how that's going to work for her. Okay. Wait, Treasure, do you feel like the people from your season are gonna just kind of like band together since you all know each other? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't. I think some, like, some are gonna try, but I, I don't. I mean, I think Treasure shared some information. She didn't necessarily spill the tea, but she poured it and it's in the cup, so. I'm gonna work on that a little bit. I mean, you've played similar to this, so you'll, I mean, you get to that point where you have the people you like and the people you don't like. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I hope we're not going in with, you know, people I like and people I don't like. I mean, I guess that's the point of the game, but I hope- No, I mean, that's not what I'm, I didn't mean like we're coming in that way. I mean like that, <laughs> it, like flow, you're gonna hook up, you're gonna have people that you connect with more than other people, you know? 
yeah. in a game like this, but I'm coming in fresh. So. Me too, Meg. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me as well. I, I agree with that. So we're in a different game now, so as far as I'm concerned, it I don't have any bad blood. And I'm starting fresh. I don't know if Dot and Meg are starting fresh, but I know I am. So excited to work with them if they choose to, and if they don't want to, uh, no hard feelings. Um, all right. I don't know how I... Q. Q, Q, Q. We can, we can start fresh. We can come in fresh. And I think that being that there's only three of us from our season, we might need her. Um just to give us a little bit of backing. I'm not really sure yet how the game is going to flow and if it's going to be a, like a show versus show versus show type situation. Um, but I don't forget. I don't forget what I went through in the last game. I don't forget how she did me dirty. I don't forget the game that she played. Um, so I will be watching out for her. Um, I can start fresh, but, you know, there's still some grime there. Yeah, the separate game you know, separate goals and new yeah. people and it's good to start clean. Definitely. Well, I'm actually really excited to meet both you, Mike, and Treasure, because I've seen both of your seasons. And I feel like oh, I know what? Did both you of like you. it? Did you like I it? Did. Was it good? I, uh, I did. Yeah, Mike, I liked actually, them too. You were very strategic and you didn't get it. You didn't get your you didn't get your your due process, I guess. They they just no. Kind of it's fine. You. I totally deserved everything that came to me after watching it back. No 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 no. I deserved it. I deserved it, man. I put that target on my own back. Mike, um, really like Mike. I honestly liked Mike when I watched his season. I feel like Mike was kind of a menace, but I I enjoyed him. He seems a lot lighter this season. He seems more centered and balanced. And not as cutthroat, which I think I will like that Mike even more than I really do. I like Meg, I like Q, and I like Treasure. They just seem like fine people. I don't have too much of an opinion. I think they're all pretty bright, and I like working with smart people. It's weird sitting here talking to you after watching you on <laughs> on videos for the past week or two. Um. Yeah, they, I didn't even know, like, there was a podcast, someone from, um, our season, like, posted in the group chat that we all have, they're like, um, they're talking about us, <laughs> and I was like, what? So, just quick words on Delion, based. Um, sociable, great, uh, talks great. I think he'll go far. I could see him in top three. Q. Petty. <laughs> wow. I love dealing on them, but Petty. And I like, for some, I was just like poking around in the video and I just so happened to get to the part where y'all talked about me. I don't even remember what I said. I think you said something along the lines of like, I love Dillion, like he's super cool. Like he's very straightforward, like, I love it all. And then Q was like, <laughs> all Q said was petty. Petty. And she said, I like him, but he's petty. And I was like, you know, I can't argue with that. They're all like interconnected and I'm like the odd man out. Like same with the entire group. Like er like it seems like everybody knows each other. And then me and Meg are like, hi, like I don't know any of you. It puts, it's a little bit uncomfortable. Like it's, it's not the position I'm normally in. Like I usually am making the friends first. So, um, hopefully I can get into some circle, even though clicks are kind of already made. So who should we, like, who should we watch out for from, like, y'all's past shows? Like, is there anybody, is everybody pretty real and straight up, or? Um, yeah. I only have one, one for my season, and a big part of the show is me and him fighting the entire time. Mm. Um, but, I mean, he... He's just, it, it's more of his personality that I had an issue with. Um, he's pretty good socially, um, really good at competitions. So, I mean, I might have to look out for him. He might try coming for me just because we have a bit of hatred for each other. That would be Mike. Right. So, I remember the face. Yeah. I, th I think Michael? I remember. Mm -hmm. he's um, Michael. Michael. Oh. He looks so nice. 
Do what? Yeah, I, <laughs> I said he looks so nice. Yeah, he he came off as nice. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not gonna shit talk him, but I, we just we have our history, so. Okay, gotcha. For my show, like, there's Meg and there's Q in there. Oh, Q, Q and I kind of scrap for a little bit because you know she's like she says what she thinks. Uh-huh. Um, so. Q is definitely somebody that I need to look out for that I would potentially um, try to get voted out. And Dot is somebody that, if him and Q are at odds, can be used to help get her out. But I like her because she's straight up. And, and Meg's really cool too. She's like, she's the kind of person where like, like she's not a pretender. So what, are they necessarily somebody that you need to watch out for as far as like being a threat goes, or like uh, after people. Uh, well, I would. I think they're both competitive. Like they're they're definitely gonna come to win. They're the kind of person where like if they're gonna ally with you, they're gonna ally with you. Like there's they're not gonna pretend like they're doing it and pull some some snake shit in the end. Meg Meg is pretty easy to work with. She's she's really cool and down to earth. She's she's a she's a leader, you know. So like if somebody else is trying to like lead the ship. I don't know. There, there may be a clash or whatnot, um, but I feel like she's she's also a team player, so that I don't think it would be a problem. When Dot was speaking, he kind of mentioned that Meg was a leader and she's super competitive. I couldn't really decipher whether that was good or bad for him. Like maybe they worked well together in their season, which I haven't seen yet. It hasn't aired, um, but. I need to look out for that too because I do want to work with Dot. I like, I like his personality. He's easy to talk to. Leonard and Deleon, I mean, are, is there anybody from your show that's playing with us now that we should be worried about? Just who could be shady or? I'm gonna say no. Well, I've learned that you cannot trust days. Dot, I like Deleon. I really like him. He's, he's cool. I remember him from my last games, but I will still watch out for Deleon because because of the reason in my last games. I was just like I was like saying nothing in the big group because there was so many people. I was so overwhelmed. I was like, well, what do I don't want to say. <laughs> uh, Leonard, he seemed like maybe he doesn't want to be here, which oddly enough, that's perfect for me because that's something that I can spread to others so that he is um, somebody that we can vote out with, you know, not a lot of blood on their ha on my hands. Or um, I'm still gonna be wary of like everybody, y'all included. I mean, you know. Don't trust me. Oh, why would I? The Bible says- I'll just tell, I'll just tell you that. <laughs> no, man, I, I wouldn't trust you. You were already talking behind my back on the podcast. So. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all at the bottom of it. What did I walk <laughs> into? <laughs> yeah. I mean, for the most part, it seems like everybody's trying to play it easy and, like, get a feel for everybody. So, I feel like a lot of people are about to change. So, I'm just basically patiently waiting it out. I feel like a lot of people are still being fake. So, I guess we're going to see real people in a couple episodes you know for this challenge the players will have to go head to head in trivia there will be different categories and they have to choose if they want an easy question or a hard question the harder questions are worth more points i'm just gonna see how hard these questions are let's go tv for six points the hulu suspense series castle rock takes place in what state Colorado, B, Maine, or C, Rhode Island. It's got to be Maine. That's the Stephen King one, I think, I hope. You are correct. Fan Guy starts off with six points. Um, I'll take music for six points. What was the first Bush song to get into the top 10 on a U.S. chart? A, Come Down. B, Machine Head, or C, Everything Zen? Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Need an answer. Machine Head. Sorry, Everything Zen was the correct answer, but you will get another chance. 
Delia, you look a little stressed. Oh, so stressy. <laughs> what category would you like and for how many points? Let's do history for five. Okay. Let's do history for five. Which country was Marco Polo from? A, Germany, B, Italy, or C, France? Italy. You are correct. Delion is on the board with five points. Um, you know, let's just go music for six. <laughs> well, six was already taken, so you could have to do five. Points. Okay, go for it. What was the first Mary J. Blige song to hit number one on the U.S. Hot 100? A. Real Love, B. Family Affair, or C. Not Gonna Cry? Family Affair? Correct. Treasure is on the board with five points, tying Delion. I'm gonna try TV. Which of the following characters does not appear in season one of The Wire? A. Marlo, B. Wallace, or C. Weebay? C. Bay? Sorry, the answer was A. Marlo. I will do TV. Yeah, I'm gonna do three. Which of the following is not the name of a character on this series, Buffy the Vampire Slayer? A, Lorne, B, Willow, C, Riley. Um, Need an answer. Okay, I'm gonna go with Willow. Sorry, the answer was A, but it's your turn again, so. <laughs> I'm, I'm also stick with TV. I'll just go with four. At the start of Insecure, Issa celebrates which birthday? A, her 28th, B, her 29th, or C, her 30th? 29th. Correct. You are on the board with four points. Okay. Cool. You know, I'm gonna try TV again. It's fine. Just say, can I choose? Is there is four uh, option or not anymore? The only okay. ones left for TV three. are one and two. Three. <laughs> There's no three. You could do two. Okay, let's see. Two. <laughs> What is the last name of Kenny on South Park? A. Camden, B. McCormick, or C. Jones? Jones, I feel it's Jones. Sorry, it is oh B. <laughs> yes. I'll do sports for four. In 1999, the Chicago Bulls traded Scottie Pippen to which team? A, the Portland Trail Blazers, B, the New York Knicks, or C, the Houston Rockets? Houston Rockets, I don't know. You're actually right, though. So you oh. take the lead with nine points. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. History for a six. All right. Okay. Let me breathe. Napoleon suffered defeat at Waterloo in what year? A nine, sorry, A eighteen fifteen, B eighteen sixteen, or C eighteen seventeen. Eighteen fifteen. You are correct. Delion oh. takes the lead. Okay, I'll do history for six. Aspen, you need to get on the board here. You might get left behind. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do music for four. All right. Which song was the lead single from Prince's, Prince's Purple Rain album? A, Purple Rain, B, I Would Die For You, or C, When Doves Cry? Ah, oh, it's either A or C. Uh, I'm just gonna say A. Sorry, the correct answer was C. 
Oh my god. Oh, that, okay. Um, Aspen didn't get anything correct. So trivia is not her strong suit. I'm gonna go sports for six. What year did Andre Agassi win his first Olympic gold medal? A, 1992, B, 1996, or C, 2000? Oh, um, 1996. You are correct, and you pass Delion by one point. I think the most logical play for me is to go sports for five. All right. Who are the defending WNBA champions? A, the Minnesota Lynx, B, the Seattle Storm, or C, the Washington Mystics? I don't know. Um, Seattle Storm. Sorry, it is the Washington Mystics. You are in the lead, but only by one point on DeLeon. I had a chance to close the game out because I had 12 points. I had answered two of the six point questions right. And I had a chance at a five, which would have locked everyone else out. <laughs> and I just don't watch basketball. So, you know, it is what it is. History for four. Where was Adolf Hitler born? A, Germany, Germany, B, Italy, or C, Austria? Austria. You are correct. Owning this history that. category. Yes, I, I, please don't look at me differently, y'all. I, I just, I like history, as you can tell. I have to do some math, because I think you just won. I got six, five, and four for history. 15. I'm just checking to see if Trezor could actually tie you, but I don't think so because there's no six left. So Delion, you are one of Period. the leaders. Yes. Ugh. Hey, what's good, what's good, y'all, what's good? Hey. Looking at a leader and that's on whatever you need it to be on, baby. Congrats. Hey, Congratulations. Congratulations. That's so <laughs> Treasure, you have to, you were, you were up I, there you know, though. Nobody else did history because I'm like, when it comes to music, I know like classical and like Baroque stuff, but I'm like, I know he's going to ask something about Beyonce. I don't <laughs> ask a lot of TV. So I heard the TV stuff he's asking. I'm like, mm -mm. I don't know anything about like, TV. I knew so none of those. Good no. studying the stick with history, you'll be good. I did pretty good. I did not get an answer wrong. I just know myself. I'm book smart. Stay with the books. History will not steer you wrong. I'm happy Delian won. Not surprised though. He's really smart. Like, I wasn't surprised at all. He's, he said he gets nervous doing any type, but I was very confident that he would get them right. Fan Guy was really close to me and so was Treasure. So those are two people to look at and like, maybe I need to get one of those two out into elimination, possibly. So we'll see. Music for four. What year did Taylor Swift release her first album? A, 2006, B, 2005, C, 2004. 2005. Sorry, it was 2006. Science for six. Just try my luck. How many teeth does an adult bear have? A, 46, <laughs> B, 44, or C, 42? Uh, 46. Sorry, 42. History for five. What year was Gandhi assassinated? A, 1945, B, 1948, C, 1952. 52. Sorry, 48. Geography, five points. In which of the following areas is the Red Sea located? A, between Europe and Africa, B, between Europe and Asia, C, between Asia and Africa. Oh, shit. 
between Asia and Africa. Correct. Days is on the board with five points. How do you need it five? What Maroon 5 single was the first to reach the top 10 on a U.S. Hot 100 chart? A. Harder to Breathe, B. This Love, or C. She, she Will Be Loved? This Love. This love. Right. Boom! Let's go. It's also your turn again, Dot, so... Let's do science for four. Is that still there? How many vertebra vertebrae are in the human spine? A thirty-two, B thirty-three, C thirty-four. I don't know. <laughs> thirty-two. Thirty-three. Shit. Geography four. What city is situated on two continents? A. Cairo, B. Istanbul, C. Granada. Um, what was what was the second one? B. Cairo. Or A. No, Cairo. Istanbul. Is that your answer? Yeah, Istanbul. You are correct, and regain the lead. I will go for history six. What year was Julius Caesar assassinated? A forty four BC, C forty three BC, or C forty two BC? The second one was B, but I fucked up. Forty four. You are correct. You get on the board. I'll do science for five. What is the chemical symbol of gold? A A U. A U. We're done. It's A U. Next question. Correct. Let's do geography for six. Okay. Go big or go home. True. What is the fifth largest state by square miles? A Arizona, B New Mexico, or C Montana? Montana. Sorry, it is New Mexico. Oh, well. Go you are <laughs> up again, but you can't win, so you could decide if you want to answer another question or not. Um. No. When I played the survival game, you painted me as a target right away because I was good at challenges. So it might be a good thing that I did not perform well in this first challenge. Maybe people won't look at me as a threat since the game is heavily based on challenges. Um, but it also could look at me as maybe a potential like easy out and elimination. Uh, what do I need to win? A five point or a six point? Well, it depends on what they get. So you're currently four points behind Days to tie him for first. Mm. Are there even any four pointers left? There's four points for history. There's a six point for music. There's, those are the highest ones. Oh, uh, let's try a six point for music. Okay. What year was Bon Jovi's debut album released? A, 1980, <laughs> B, 1982, or C, 1984? Mm, 1982. That is incorrect. It was 1984. Yeah. What's Mike, my score compared to Dave's? You have six, he has nine. Oof. All right, history for four. Which artist painted The Last Supper? A. Michelangelo, D. Da Vinci, or C. Pablo Picasso? I'm pretty sure that was Da Vinci. You are correct. You take the lead by one point. The geography for two. What is the second largest country by size? A. China, B. the U.S., or C. Canada? Oh, shit. 
China. Sorry, it is Canada. Man, I was I was so close to winning that challenge if it weren't for Mike. Nope, Mike, congratulations. Oh, sure. You have oh. won. Okay, wow. You are one of the leaders in this round. So I won the challenge. I'm one of the first three leaders, which means I'm not going home. Always a plus. I didn't Congratulations! Want to be the I didn't want to be the leader. Congrats, I just bro. like hey, I just wanted to win. Check it. You 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 won the challenge for like the hard brute. Yeah, Big but up, like I sense. suck at sports and the other thing and history is my strong suit, obviously. So oh, I'm glad yeah. to be the so hard group is easier for me. I feel what like I'm not do? confident in my like history and geography skills, but I honestly <laughs> would have gotten those questions correct had I chosen oh. that. What what does the leader do in this game? Is it like having how is it like head of household kind of? It's I like the challenge, you, Mike. I think we'll have to it. vote people oh in that aren't leaders to like an elimination and then the leaders will choose who goes against them and then loser from yeah. those eliminations goes home well two home. people no pressure uh first off i would have preferred that mike not be in the tribunal um or in the leaders group it worries me because i do not fully trust mike um, I'm pretty sure that he's going to throw my name out as a target if he hasn't already done so. That combo of Mike and Deleon worries me because Deleon seems to like Mike. Um, Mike is going to butter him up. I'm sure that he realizes Deleon likes um, to be worshipped and he's going to play into that. So that could spell trouble for me. It could possibly also spell trouble for somebody like Fanguy. Um, Monet, I don't, uh, I like Monet. Um, I hope I get a chance to talk to her. Didn't want to end up as leader like I did, but hey, you know what? I make the best out of the situation that's been handed to me. I'm not going home now. I, I get some say in it, whatever. Uh, if people want to think I'm a challenge threat, which I kind of am because I was good at answering history questions, and that's the conclusion they want to draw. That's the conclusion they're gonna draw. Like, how do how do we feel about being put in the hard group by us? Did you know, I do all... notice that you, me, and Dot are all here, and we were all on the same season. Right. I wonder if that was done purposely. And then Dazed and Mike were very um, outspoken on how they did not get along. That's I think I think we might be seen as threats right now. I'll tell you what. Did Monet make the much... decision? Yeah. So. I brought up, you know, how everyone felt about being placed in the harder group. And um, we just thought it was interesting that it was three of us from online um, survival season two, and that it was Dazed and Mike who did not get along in their first season. We thought it was just interesting how the group was arranged, and we were trying to figure out if there was any strategy. And, you know, judging by Monet's actions and what I've seen so far in online isolation. She's smart, but I don't know that she's strategic. So I don't really know that I'm still on the fence to figure out if there was any strategy in how she arranged these groups. I don't know how much power the one uh, leader has, but I don't plan well, to give you guys up. I won't. I don't know what, what it's up about. but Mike, it, it will be you, Monet, and then whoever won in the first group. You're like right. the tribunal. But do, like we, do we think that maybe it was kind of a bad if she if she's trying to keep all isolation together and split us out? Do you think that was a bad mood to have them all in the same game and only have the opportunity well, for them to win later? There were two uh, season one survival players in the other group, Aspen and Fanguy, and they like get along, right? And y'all don't. Or didn't I don't I won't I'm yeah. not gonna say don't now but they, in your season. Yeah, they were alliance finished Ooh. one and two. Um, does anyone have any strong feelings about what I should do? Any I'll listen to anything because I don't know I don't know ninety percent of this cast. Hey Lewis. I don't plan to put any of you guys up if that's an option. If if I don't if I can like veto, then I, I won't let you guys I think uh, it's gonna be like a, a group decision between you Monet and whoever wins the other one so 
So, Do you guys you think know. that it? I I was hoping that we were going to come in like not like show versus show versus show, but do you think it's kind of headed that way? God, I hope not. It's <laughs> Poss- whack if possibly. it is. Yeah. yeah. Well, we and only so, got three. Like, both of our shows are in the minority. Well, I guess not since Flash isn't here. I guess you guys have the same amount. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll say this like for right now, I'm I'm cool with not targeting anybody in this group. I mean, they've already split us up this way, and I think. That might have been done for a purpose, so... I think they're thinking me and this dude are still gonna fight, and I don't know, maybe we will, but not not yet. <laughs> um, uh, the, the people who got the harder set of trivia questions um, wanted to make an alliance uh, based pretty much off of that placement, and I'm cool with that. I liked that group a lot. Um, you know, I feel good. I, I find it interesting. Q and Days did a podcast together, but I don't really care that much. I'm cool working with them. You know, it's dumb to ever say no to an alliance. You don't have to stick to it, but you don't say no, even if you don't want to work with the alliance, which I, I kind of do. The, the challenge group that we were in, I like. I genuinely enjoy everybody that was there. Everybody's easy to talk to, and although the majority of them are going to be considered, at least in my eyes, competition threats, um, I would rather be working with them than against them until the final, obviously. Uh, I think that an alliance could form of this. You have myself, you have Dot, Hugh, Meg, not Mike. I mean, I would rather work with him than against him, but I don't want him in my alliance. Uh, I don't know that I trust that Days wants Mike in the alliance. I don't. I'll do my best to keep all you guys off the block. Honestly, I I'll be one vote. But if the other person is, I'll do my best. I I don't want to just come out and say I refuse to put because then they're gonna want to put one of you guys up. But I'll I'll do what I. I won't vote for one of you to go up in the elimination challenge. So I, I'll do my best. That's the best you can do, man. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe I thought this was a semi Re- Represent. Oh my God. He tried to act as if it was, he didn't really understand that him winning that challenge made him a leader. And I think he absolutely 100% understood that that challenge made him a leader. He just wanted to put on the act that he did not want to be in that position and that this was going to be really difficult for him. I do not trust Mike. I don't trust one word that he says. I don't trust it. I watched that first season of Online Survival. I know the kind of player he is, and I know why he got voted out. And I think he's playing the exact same game right now. I mean, I, I honestly, I think she just like voted by what she knows. Like all she does is know the people that she knows, and she like voted away the people that she doesn't know that well. It's like us. But she got asked for the most part, guy over you know? there, and I don't think they. I don't think she knows that. I mean, shit. If they want to, if they want to isolate themselves, let them isolate. That's themselves. a terrible I mean, strategy. If that's what they're doing, it is. And I, I'll, hey, you know, I'll, if that's what they're doing, I'm happy. Yeah, it wouldn't have been a good strategy. That's what I'm saying. Because why would you want everybody that you're trying to work with on the same team going against each other? You'd want some people in here to try to win other the other leader role. It's really interesting because Dot, Meg, and I did not work together in our season. And even though it might seem obvious to others for us to work together, us coming together to work together is not obvious at all because we didn't get along our season. Um, But I think if there's one thing we've shown each other, it's that we all have the ability to be honest and loyal to the people that we choose to work with. I think you and I eventually will come together. And I don't know if right now is the time to approach her with that or if I wanna wait and kind of read out the way things play out. Um, I am not 100% sure that I can trust her. Um, So I I think I'm gonna sit on it for a little bit. It's on the back burner, it's in the back of my mind. I think that might be the direction that I go. Um, Obviously Dot is my number one ally. Um, so I know that'll work out, and I really like Dazed, and I think I could really get along with Dazed, and I think I'm the kind of player that Dazed would be interested in working with. So, um, I'm down the road with this crew for now, but I do want to see which group of people I'm most comfortable with, because at the end of the day, those are the people that I'm going to choose. Um, you know, I am willing to, to hop groups and not, uh, not stick with one that I'm not comfortable with, kind of like last season, so I'm making some changes. Does anyone have someone they want out of the way? want me to try and lightly push into having out of here. 
I mean, I don't uh, know anybody well enough. I don't really know anybody. Anymore. Yeah, exactly. Days, days, you seem to have watched everything. <laughs> days, days, got me out, out, it's up. It's weak. I, I, I don't want to say it's a target, but when I talked to him last night, it didn't seem like he wanted to be here. Who? Was it um, Leo? Yeah. He did not I forgot seem. He, existed. he didn't, he was, he didn't, he didn't seem like he wanted to be here time. at all. The sad part is, yes, I am leaving the show because for my last video, um, this is my last video. Yes, I'm leaving because. I have so much stress at this moment about everything this month coming to place. Just immigrated from South Africa and this month I have a lot to do and things to plan for and also the 29th of August I have a big day and everything is just a little tense at this moment and I felt it better if I, for myself and also for the game because no one in this game likes a down in the dumps, you know? So I was like, okay, so it's time for me to leave. First, the eight players that are not leaders will vote one person into the elimination challenge. Then the three leaders will vote who that person goes against in the elimination challenge. I feel like the people who are leaders this time are definitely going to have a bigger target on their back come next time if they don't get that leader role again. So, it's just something to think about, you know. Like, I'm always playing that in the back of my mind. I'm like, ooh, I don't want to come off too strong, you know. So, I just was chilling. Like, we're still all getting to know each other, I feel like. At least at the beginning of the game, I want to partner with some of the best people. Um... I mean, later in the game, there may be a threat, but we'll, we'll deal with that when we get there. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be with no weak ass group. This cast looks good. It's packed. I can, I, I can see that people are here to play. So, whew, I'm anxious, I'm excited, I'm worried. I don't want a target on my back already. Um, it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just gonna basically go with the flow. Um, see what I can do, stir the pot, because that's what I do best. You know, I love drama, I love arguing, so we're good on that. Two players will be voted in to the elimination challenge. You seem upfront and strategic and smart and those are all things that i want to work with i don't want to work with mike but i will let mike think that i want to work with mike if we have this alliance i would prefer it if fan guy was tangential to that i'm gonna be honest like i took the easy way out and fights are already here yeah. are you gonna tell him that or is that gonna have I'll to come from me that. what you think i'm scared of anybody I ain't scared of nobody in these games he flipped he flipped. Definitely You're a snake. Scared. Boy, if you don't get your...